for the official video, I want to make an announcement, and it's my fault. The 10,000 calorie challenge that we were supposed to do, and we did, most of that footage got lost, unfortunately. What happened was, I didn't know that the SD cards used for these particular cameras are formatted in what's called FAT32, which means that any file that's over four gigabytes, which the majority of them were, especially the ones of us eating and actually talking and us just doing what is involved in the 10,000 calorie challenge, those were obviously way bigger than four gigabytes. So I didn't know that. So whenever I played back the videos on my camera, I was thinking, okay, because I had this issue before and uh, the exact same thing happened. The, the video was just a bit long, so it wouldn't play on my computer. And lo and behold, all that footage is gone. I do apologize. However, there is a silver lining. Awesome Games Done Quick is coming up. It's gonna be on January 6th through the 12th. I am gonna go to that. However, my brother and I, we probably want to do another 10,000 calorie challenge when I get back. So I won't mess up that time. I'll actually have the footage and everything, and it'll be an official upload. But uh, it'll still be Cheat Day Series number two. Unfortunately, I was not able to get that footage. I apologize, but I guarantee you, we did the challenge. And in fact, I got up to, to like 10,150 calories or something like that, but I learned a lot from that challenge, and I know how to probably optimize that a little better. So that video would have been good, but I'm gonna make this one way better for you guys. So anyway, let's get back to the original video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, Caleb here. And today I'm gonna actually talk about what I've been meaning to do for a long time. I'm gonna show you guys my Twitch streaming setup. I'm gonna show you everything from hardware to software to positions of like what I, you know, wear, put my stuff, you know. I, I like my setup as it is now, however, you know, you can always make room for improvement. I'm not really working with like a ton of space, but I've pretty well made it like as manageable as I can. I've done a lot of thinking and optimization on the setup, and like that's key to making like a really good stream setup. You want a clean, you want consolidation, you want everything. So uh, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time now, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna run you through everything that I use. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is what my basic stream setup looks like. You know, it's pretty simple, but it's also, it's it's very optimized, like positioning of stuff. Obviously I got three monitors, like a bunch of different consoles. I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute. Let's go in here. So first we're gonna start out with the computer. This is an NZXT computer case. These are really nice, I recommend them like heavily. Uh, this is also paired with a 1070 GTX. I believe I had a 1080 before, but for some reason it like malfunctioned. And I have an 860 Evo. This is the this is the the SSD that I have right here, the 860 Evo. And I had an 850, but I upgraded a bit, and uh, I had to uh, reinstall Windows because it was kind of messing up. So we got that, it's a one terabyte, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and then I have an NCXT CPU cooler. And the CPU that I have in there right now is the Skywake. However, I'm supposed to put this in there. This is a beast. Uh, I just don't have the motherboard for it at the moment, but whenever I do, I'm gonna install that and that'll give me some nice gains. So that is the computer. Now, the capture card that I'm running and let's see if you can see it. It's that those little pins in the background right there. That's the capture card. Now this capture card, and I uh, apologize for the lighting guys, but you can see a little bit there. You got some uh, HDMI cables and such, and that's all connecting, oh my god, is, uh, yeah, this lighting is uh, not really feasible. Uh, I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link it in the bio so you guys can see exactly what I'm working with. But this capture card is called the SC512. And this is compatible with everything. It's a very pricey capture card, but it's compatible with literally everything. And I use it for, it's, it's a one size fits all capture card that puts out amazing quality. All right, so now we're gonna go to the audio. This is an Alto Acom compressor. 
and it is paired with a Behringer X122 mixer. And then I have here a cloud lifter, which if anybody doesn't know what those are, they give your microphone a clean 25 decibels of audio. And then that all goes to the Voice RE20 Electro microphone. This is probably one of the best streaming microphones in my opinion. It is in competition with the Shure SM7B, I believe that's what it's called. But both are really good. And that all goes to the stand here. This is a road stand. Definitely recommend. Uh, they're quite amazing. Now as far as the wiring goes, it is a bit of a mess, yes, but uh, I did my best to try to clean it up. You know, right here, as you can see, I've snaked them pretty well. Uh, there's only really so much you can do with, uh, you know, kind of trying to consolidate wires and such. But I think I did pretty well. Uh, same thing over here. Like, it, it looks pretty bad, but, like, it's, it's really not. So, uh, like I said, there's only so much you can do. But, on the outside, it looks pretty good. Now here, uh, for the mouse, I have a Corsair, just a nice little mouse. This stuff all got sent be, uh, to me from CLG, so that's pretty nice. I like this keyboard a lot. It goes really well with my setup because it's nice and short. It's not really wide or anything, so I like that a lot. And then uh, for the sound system, the subwoofer is back there. You can't really see it, but uh, it's just some kind of Logitech sound system, nothing crazy. So then, for my TV, what's up guys? Uh, this is a PVM, and the model is 20M2MDU. This is really nice. It's, you know, PVMs and BVMs, they are the best CRTs on the market. Uh, these are like your modern CRTs, basically. They're compatible with uh, 720p, actually, so they can, they can output, like, HD. It's insane. I definitely highly recommend one of these. They are quite pricey and heavy, but if you got the money, definitely check them out because they give you nothing but amazing results. Let's go ahead and talk about the visuals. So right here, for my main webcam at the moment, this is a Logitech C922. And this is where I actually use this camera that I'm using to record this video. Uh, this is my tripod, and I mount it right here, and it points down like this. So that's pretty much what you guys see. So those are my only webcams. I did have like a hand cam and all that stuff, but I kind of eliminated from that setup. And right here, just your basic net gear, router, modem, stuff like that. As you can see, like I have a lot of space, you know, so I can put like, you know, I, I, I usually like to have my coffee like right here if I'm drinking it, but I clearly have like a ton of space here. So I'm liking that a lot. This monitor is so old. This monitor might be upwards of like 15 years old. I'm not kidding. This is a, if you guys want to look it up, Syncmaster 940BW. This monitor has been a trooper. It, it, I think it only goes up to like 720. I don't know the resolution of it, but it's it's very old, but not a single dead pixel. There's not really a reason to change it out. And then here we have this uh, Asus monitor. I picked it up like a couple years ago. I like it a lot. And then over here we have another Asus monitor. This one's a little bigger. This one's my main one though. Put us out a little bit of picture in this one. But it's a three monitor setup, so that's pretty awesome. And then let's go over to the game consoles. I have multiple game consoles hooked up. So I have a GameCube, a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo Wii, a Nintendo, uh, you can see back there, an N64, with an Xbox 360. I have a Switch, a PS4, and a PS2. So yeah, that's like a ton of consoles. That's like eight or something like that, nine. I'm not really sure. But you might be asking, like, how, how how does that all get set up? So the Switch and the PS4 are both HDMI, right? So back here, I actually have two HDMI cords for each console, and all they do is go into the input. And since the capture card is what's called a, has a pass through, all you got to do is there's an input and an output. Now outputs to this monitor, and then the input, you know, is just one of these. But I have two separate cords, so all I gotta do is swap them out. It's real easy. And then for the uh, the PS2, the Nintendo, the GameCube, and stuff like that, and the, and the Xbox 360, this is what's called a powered splitter. Now, as you can see here, I've got three separate, actually four separate sets of cables. Uh, these are all going to S-Video. So this one right here is for my Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and GameCube. These, they all take the same uh, input. This is for my PS2. This one right here is for the Xbox. And this one right here is for the Wii. 
Now anytime I want to switch consoles, granted they're all hooked in at the same time, you just swap these out and then it goes directly to the capture card and the TV simultaneously. So it's really amazing like that. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's just a really consolidated, consolidated setup. This right here, this is very hard to find for whenever I like to play Smash Ultimate. Um, and then over here, I like to have my games out, like, you know, FFT. You guys know I run that. This game I've never played in my life before. Um, probably gonna do a blind playthrough. This game I've been meaning to play on stream. We'll probably do that today, but we'll see. And then, uh... Mega Man X 4 through 6 for the hex effect. This. Anyway, this table is really handy. So I pretty much have like, I'm pretty much boxed in, but I've got like hella room, so it's really nice. And my cats usually like to sit behind the monitor, and then we just have this extra space here. And then we have even more space to put stuff on. So I've got like a ton of room, it's really nice. And then again, um, just some spare stuff, like some Super Nintendo games that I, that I commonly play, I'll have out. Then I have my uh, multi-card reader, just handy little stuff like that. Now let's go with the cabinets. These cabinets are pretty much just used for anything. I like to use the top one to store like extra controllers in, anything really that I need. This, this middle one is just like accessories. Any sort of like extra wires, hookups, I just like to put in here, you know, it's like, there's not really easy, any reason to get rid of them, so I may as well store them. Bottom one, same stuff. You know, it's just like any any sort of like spare wire or hookups. I just like to put them in there. And this right here is also handy. I don't really have anything too important in there, just a couple games, a couple things. Same thing over here, except this top one contains like a lot of Super Nintendo games and whatnot, uh, just some random stuff. Same thing, like just uh, like some games, just a couple of random like Game Boys and whatnot, uh, like a random mouse pad. Just like I said, anything that I find important, I'll just store in here. And same stuff, just like random hookup charge cables and whatnot. And then over here, uh, I have a bunch of N64 games up at the top, as you can see in the back. I have just some uh, DS games, 3DS games, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I don't have all my games here, but anything that I really feel like playing, I'll put there. And they're not really organized that well. Here's my second copy of FF7, just in case, and you know, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And then we have this, uh, this lighting. This is just uh, your basic studio lamp. It really gets uh, blocked out by the audio lighting here. But uh, this thing is really handy. So this is like my main light. And this is kind of my fill light right here. And then I just have my, my kitchen back there. That's my back lighting. But it all uh, comes together and makes uh, pretty decent lighting. Okay, and then next, we're gonna go to software. This would be better with like screen capture, but I don't really have any of that, so we're gonna do this though. So, for streaming software, what up, what up? We're right here. That's where we are. Uh, this is OBS software, or OBS Studio. This is what people t commonly use for their streaming. That's what I use, so. Uh, we got that going. Uh, there's not really any reason to not use OBS Studio, in my opinion. Then for the timer, we have this uh, Live Split. Live Split, also, pretty mainstream. Not really any reason to not use it, you know what I mean? So we got Live Split for a timer, OBS Studio for our streaming software. Down here, this is a custom program, actually, that uh, my buddy Big John He's really good at programming and he makes this kind of stuff right here. This is what you see whenever I get donations and uh, subscribers and everything like that. That's all that fancy stuff right there. So that's what I use. And then um, again, you know, this is called stream labels. Stream labels is what, you know, outputs the uh, information whenever people follow, sub, host, all that good stuff. So th these four programs are like, that make up, th I, so I use this monitor right here for utility that outputs like streaming software, live split, stream labels, the, the program. And then over here, I'll, I'll typically have the chat and uh, that's where you guys uh, shit post and put ASCII art and all that good stuff. And then this uh, space over here will typically be like, I don't know, other stuff. But if I'm you, if I'm playing like a PS4 game or a Switch, this is what this monitor is going to replace this monitor with. So the, the game, the HD game will be on this monitor while this monitor might have like notes 
or like I might use chat for this, you know, just doing anything, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. But if I'm not, you know, this monitor is just kind of there for moral support. And also, The Revenant, I think, is the name. Man, he's scary, dude. He's about to jump in and get you. But anyway, that's pretty much it for software. Uh, as far as speed running goes, it's not really uh, too demanding on that part. Oh, uh, one important thing is this. I almost forgot, this is Cam Link. So that thing right there that I just showed you, Cam Link, that's what I actually use to output video onto my stream. So I'll have that, and then I'll actually show you something else. So these things right here, these are very important. This is pretty much uh, fake battery, but uh, you can have it so you can stream and uh, you don't have to just keep replacing the battery. This thing right here is just pretty much just like a plug-in battery, and you can have your camera going the entire time. And this right here, this is what you, this is used to actually hook up the camera. So that connects to the cam link. And that's the fact that it's pretty important. Thing is, is that I'm not using the camera every time I stream. But I like to use it, you know, just in different situations or whatever. And that's about it. And if I forgot anything that, you know, didn't cover in my streaming setup, Pretty sure I got everything, but uh, let me know in the comments. But what I'm probably gonna end up doing is uh, using the bio, like the description link. Try to put everything in there, that way you guys know uh, just about everything that I use. I'm not gonna include like Super Nintendo and stuff like that, but as far as like hardware and uh, software and important stuff like that for basic streaming setup, like the computer parts and monitors and stuff, that I'll probably include. Not to mention, <laughs> Finally upgraded my chair. This thing right here, this is a Zero Series. This is pretty nice, so got that recently. Now I'm a professional streamer, and I'm not using a damn stool like I was before. So this is what I was using before. Yeah, no back, no nothing. Get the fuck out of here. So anyway, no more stool. I can actually stream properly, sit back, and let me show you something that's really cool. So this is lever, and usually chair backs, they go back pretty far. This one goes all the way back. You could sweep in it if you wanted. Pretty cool. But anyway, I think that's gonna conclude the video. And again, if I left out anything, I mean, the only thing I could leave out is the camera that I'm using. And this is the DSL2 SL2, or DSLR SL2. That's the camera that I'm using. And yeah, but I don't use that every time I stream. Sometimes I get a little lazy and Sometimes the lighting just kind of screws up or whatever, but I'll, that's what I do use for my camera if I'm not using the Logitech C922. Anyway, hope you guys found this video to be nice and resourceful. Go ahead and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next video. Have a great day. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like the content, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my Twitch, and more importantly, don't forget to sub to the YouTube channel. Thank you.